three o'clock. We're back. Another local business in our community and a very, the business that every man and woman is missing right now. If you couldn't tell, it's a hair. It's hair. Look at that hair. Hairstylist. I got lucky. My wife, she's a, she's a hairdresser, so I don't have to worry about the haircut, but I've seen the tu YouTube tutorials and guys chopping their hair off because they've put the razor too close and their scalp and women, their natural hair colors. We're starting to finally see, we're seeing some grays come out, some different colors or natural colors. So we are, uh, we brought on a local um, beautician. I hope I'm saying the word right. Cosmetologist. I'll, I'll let her, I'll let her talk about that, but I'm going to bring them on screen right now and I'm going to try to get this right. I'm here with Alyssa Regan. She's the real, our real estate agent at Ecofund Property. Say hi. Say hi, Alyssa. Hello. And Alisa, did I get it right? Alisa. You got it right. Owen with Asila Creations. Yes. Hello. So, say hi. <laughs> so this is a very interesting time we're in because you've, you've probably seen some of the hack jobs some guys have done on their hair and probably maybe some women trying to self-dye their hair at home and just oh, hasn't, yes. hasn't turned out too good. No, I love the videos though. Job security for sure. That is that is true. <laughs> that is true. Everybody, when when the when the when the shops open back up, you guys, it, it's it's going to be incredible. I can't wait to see all the people that are going to be lined yeah, up. Yeah, I might have to hire a bodyguard. It's it's it's, <laughs> it's insane, but we hope Me we hope, first. we hope you guys we hope you guys get open soon. We and I'm sure a lot thank of you. Are open soon. So I'm going to let Alyssa take it away, and and let's learn a little bit more about your business. Yes. So I've been a client of Elisa's now for years, and I just love how she cuts and colors my hair. She's a phenomenal stylist. So Elisa, um, fill everybody in on your background. How did you get started in the business? Yes, I uh, thank you. First of all, thank you for having me. What a great opportunity. Um, a little bit about myself and my background. I actually um, started off going to college for fine arts. So I have a background in fine arts and I spent uh, the majority of my uh, career in the beauty industry, about 24 years in um, makeup and uh, cosmetics. So I worked for lines such as Chanel, Clarins, Borghese, we're taking it back old school with that <laughs> one, Aveda, um, and Aveda is when I started to be introduced to, you know, more natural products and also the opportunity to work uh, with New York Fashion Week. So I did New York Fashion Week for five years with the designer Zhang Toy and a few years with Milan Breton. So that was very exciting to see, you know, current trends. And then also for hair, um, I've done um, weddings on location. Uh, for makeup mostly, and then I decided to do um, hair to incorporate the makeup and the hair styling for weddings. So I went back to school and got my license, and then my hair career just took off from there. I've been doing hair now for about eight years, and I started off with Wella, and I've worked with um, Goldwell and Davines. And then um, as the years kind of went on, I realized, um, you know, a lot of the chemicals and toxins that we as women are putting on our bodies that, um, you know, we all want to look beautiful, but maybe um, just some of these things are unnecessary. So that's where it led me to the search to find, uh, you know, cleaner products, but still that uh, perform. That's great. And that's one of the things I love about you because I'm on a new journey to find more natural products that I'm putting on my hair, on my skin, and that I'm consuming. So it's great that you also incorporate that in my hair. Um, it's healthier than ever since we've switched and are using your products. But before we get into that, let's um, backtrack a little. And what sets you apart from other stylists? Um, so I guess what sets me apart from our other stylists is um, maybe my art background. So the way that I'm trained it, uh, above and beyond just having a cosmetology license is that I do understand 
light and color um, and ways to use that. So I apply that to how I color hair and also how I cut hair. Great. All okay, right, so let's talk about OA. So yes. I love. So, yeah, so during uh, my journey to find uh, a product that was less toxic, I came across uh, the line called OA, stands for Organic Way. It is uh, a biodynamic organic color line that is made in Italy. And so I ordered this product and of course tried it out on myself because I'm always the guinea pig. And I loved um, the great coverage. I loved the health of the hair. There was no strong uh, chemical smell. And so then it came to the next step of, you know, trying to encourage my clients to transition from what they had been using to this. And I've been at my suite now for almost three years. Everybody's switched over. They absolutely love it. Um, and sorry, <laughs> getting a little message there. Um, so it's been a, an easy transition. I've been super happy with the product. It is a no ammonia product. Um, they use essential oils, all the, um, products are farmed in a sustainable manner on the farm. It's just been eye-opening and um, really exciting. And a lot of people who have or have had cancer visit you for this specific product, right? Absolutely. People are becoming much more knowledgeable nowadays about um, what's in the product, what they're putting in their body, what they're putting on their body. It only takes about 26 seconds for what you put on your body to enter in through, excuse me, and through your body. And then your liver and your kidneys have to filter that out. So then we have to ask ourselves, you know, with, you know, the high rates of cancer and other illnesses, you know, are we doing some of this to ourselves? So I do have a lot of clients that are, you know, searching for that low toxin line because of the illnesses that they're dealing with in their lives. Definitely. And the coverage is so great. Actually, don't zoom in on my roots now. I'm missing her too much, but it's really a great product. And it's crazy how when I'm getting my hair dyed now, the smell is no longer there. That ammonia is gone right? and my scalp doesn't tingle anymore. It's really an amazing product line. So if you're looking to transition, definitely reach out to Elisa because it's great. And why not do something that's better for your body overall, especially since Absolutely. we're coming to see every couple of weeks, <laughs> every four weeks, you're putting that on yeah. your scalp. So yeah, something to think about. I've had other with the other lines that I worked with. Some people have started to have chemical toxicity. So when you're currently constantly putting a product on your body and then you become so um, sensitive to it where they're having um, blisters or even uh, anaphylactic shock because of these toxins I've had zero issue like that with this product so it's really been amazing that you know we all want to look good um, but we don't we want to do it in a healthy way awesome so what are some of the services you offer so I specialize uh, in color. I'm a color specialist. I do a lot of balayage um, and color services, but I am also a hair cutter and I consider myself a mix of a creative cutter and a technical cutter. So you get a little bit of both. I like to do long haircuts. I love little short pixie haircuts. I do men's haircuts. Um, little bit of eyebrow waxing in there not a whole lot but um and then of course you know I still do my makeup services for special events weddings and things like that and you just picked up a new makeup line right that's yes. also clean yes I'm very excited I've been using it for myself for a long time and people you know they sit in my chair and they're always want to pick my brain you know, because they want to transition over to more clean products overall, body, face, hair. Um, so I'm adding on the Jane Aradell line. I'm super excited to have that just a small, we're going to start with um, a foundation and um, 
concealer and some lipsticks to start out with and then we'll add on the rest of the line as it grows but super excited for that awesome i can't wait to try it when i see you again yes <laughs> any tips out there for you know people at home right now i know it's tough uh women All the natural <laughs> their natural hair colors are coming back out uh men like i said if it wasn't for my wife i'd look like a shaggy dog right now uh what 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 tips, I mean, can you give to people? Is it just Well, late? I mean, there are, there are a lot of fun little things you can do. There's the um, spray uh, powders that have a little bit of color. You can get those at the drugstore that will cover your gray. It's just a temporary you spray it on, then it washes out. So you're not going to mess up your color or harm your hair in any way. Um, you can also get really creative with some eyeshadows. If you have uh, brown hair, you can just, you know, put a little brown eyeshadow in there to cover up the grays. It kind of camouflage a little bit. Again, it's only temporary, it's gonna wash out, but again, you're not doing any permanent damage to your hair. As far as the haircuts, that gets a little trickier. Uh, men, you know, you could probably take the, a little trimmer around the ear and just keep that off of the ear. Um, and then styling product is, you're going to be your best friend at this point is just to, you know, add the extra styling product for a hold to keep the hair out of the face or away from the face. I guess one benefit is if you hack your hair off, hair grows back for men at least. Well, yeah. Hats are great, right? You mess it up two weeks, just wear a hat. Ladies, you know, come, use scarves or headbands, get creative with how you style your hair, braids, buns, fun things like that. This is actually the first probably time in five weeks that I styled my own hair. <laughs> So, so if anyone's interested right now in, in, you know, they're, they're watching this now. And of course they're, maybe they don't have that hair. Cause I know some people there, you have that bond with your hairstylist, right. Or your beautician. But if they, yeah. if, if they, if they're looking for a hairstylist or someone out there, how can they get in touch with you once this is all over to, uh, you know, come, come and use your service. Yeah. What's the best Absolutely. way to get in touch with you? Um, you can always call me, text me, email me. I have people that uh, send me Facebook uh, messenger messages, Instagram, you know, now it comes to the point of, you know, where are they going to contact me? I have to check all these locations, but um, um, either my phone number or email, probably easiest way. Can you give us that number just in, for people that are oh, watching? What's, it, what's that number? It's 919-949-3544. And then my email address is Asila Creations at gmail.com. That's A S I L A Creations. Correct. Yes. I always tell everybody it's my name spelled backwards. So it's easy to remember, but it's confusing at first. And you can always find yourself on Facebook, Instagram, I'm sure, right? You have an Instagram page. Yes, I do have Instagram. I have a Facebook business page. I and my website. And then they can also go on my website and find out more about my background, more about OA. There's a video on there that explains more about OA and their product. They can also, if they're interested in buying some of the styling products, they can click on my uh, website, but buy OA here, and it redirects to that page. You have to use my partner code, and then it gives you uh, availability to, draw, to buy all of those professional products online another local biz Alyssa can you believe I mean we've hairdressers I mean you guys and teachers I, where there's a new found respect for a lot of these professions that maybe we took for granted um, and, and hairdresser a beautician is definitely one of them I mean I, I, I've seen friends on on, on Facebook post uh, horror stories about the haircuts that they've given themselves or their wives have given them it's, uh, it's a newfound respect. Right. And I Thank promised you. Elisa I won't touch my hair with box dye, but I am tempted to cut Michael's hair. Should we do it, Elisa? <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you, you can uh, do a FaceTime video and I can kind of guide you through it. <laughs> if you cut Michael's hair, Alyssa, you need to do a like a what do you call it? A, um, uh, a sped up video where we see it from the beginning yes. and then at the end. And we want to see we want to see the end result. Yes, you have to do it. <laughs> 
we have to do and it. i do i have to say this because even for the professionals like it, it looks a lot easier than what it is because i have bangs and i tell this story all the time because i will trim up my bangs but if you're looking up and trimming your bangs make sure you don't cut your eyelashes off <laughs> <laughs> there we go is there is there any other is there any other tips especially for women i mean I, I, no one's really going anywhere right now maybe some people still do have to work so i shouldn't say that um or yeah. they're, on, they're on zoom calls and they want to look professional any tips like you know maybe a scarf that you can put in the hair to give a different look or a you know i don't know any any other tips for women with their hair right now since they can't get it cut or colored that they can still change up their style maybe yeah, I actually uh, posted on my Instagram page a little uh, picture of all the different ways you can put a scarf in your hair so they can check that out. And I love Pinterest. I'm always looking at Pinterest to get different ideas of how to do uh, different styles, um, updos or braids or just something. I actually, the other day, I did a French braid on my hair and I thought, oh, I haven't done a French braid on my hair since I was in high school. But, you know, it's just to get the hair out away from my face since we're not necessarily spending all the time to style it, but we still want it to look cute. I, I laugh because my wife on the back patio here, I, I wish I could show you it. She has a mannequin head that she yes. does, practices different styles with it's just it's, cre it's creepy looking it's just sitting like staring <laughs> staring at her uh, but she she practices on the mannequin head for when she gets her clients back you know to do the different styles but yeah uh, and this is a great opportunity for everyone you know try some different styles and play around uh, with your hair with curling irons or flat irons or waivers and then when you get back to work then you have some fresh ideas on how to style your hair and again, we're, we're here with, uh, 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 sorry, Alyssa Owen from Alisa. Alisa, man, I knew I I'd know. do it. I knew I'd do it. I knew I'd do it. <laughs> Alisa Owen from, uh, Sela creations and Alyssa Regan. Uh, there we go. I got that right. Uh, from Michael Klein <laughs> properties, another local businesswoman in our area. She's where are you located again? Where's your shop at? So I have a suite in Phoenix Salon Suites that's in the Jonathan's Landing Shopping Plaza in Jupiter. And that's right off Indian Town Road there? Is that at the end That's there? correct. Indian Town and A1A. Um, so another local businesswoman in our area and one that people are really, really appreciating right about now and can't wait for you guys to reopen. <laughs> Thank um, you. Anything else, Alyssa? I think that's it. I'm ready to fix these roots i'm staying right. back far enough we're so ready, ready to get back to work <laughs> well i, I want to thank you for joining us today um and you know anyone that's looking for a new hairdresser makeup artist all that good stuff you got to go check out asila creations in jupiter off indian town road they're right across from jonathan's landing in the jonathan landing plaza you said correct Just want to yes. get that right yeah, it's in the Jonathan's Landing Shopping Plaza. Jonathan's Landing Shopping Plaza. So thank you again, Alyssa. I don't know about the box dye. Probably stay away from it, right? No, no run away, run away. No, no, <laughs> Michael's no. in trouble. And, but Michael's yeah. in trouble. I need the video Michael's of Michael. We need, we need to post the video of Michael getting his haircut. Uh, I can't wait to see that. But thanks again for joining us. And Thank you for having me. And we'll see everyone at about 3.45 for F45 Jupiter. That's the next local business we're previewing. And the last one for today. Today was a very busy day with local businesses. So uh, these local businesses, we need to continue to support. And um, thanks again for joining us. Thank you.